Lately, we have been doing a lot of builds on the channel. We have the Titan XD build, we have the 240SX build, we have the engine build for the car. Josh is here, by the way. Hello. I thought to myself, it would be really stupid and kind of ridiculous if I started another project. So today, me and Josh are starting a new fun project. Two projects. Technically one, two projects. One for each of us. Yeah, one for each of us. We bought some steel and stuff, and today we are gonna be welding up some little frames for a little project. Comparatively little. Comparatively. What, what are we building today, Josh? Uh, boats. <laughs> so we're building some go-karts. Yep. yep. We found an engine that is actually sold at Harbor Freight called a Predator 212, and that's what we want to put it back on the back of these things, which weirdly they have so much aftermarket support. We didn't actually get the engine yet. We're going to be ordering steering racks and axles online and brakes and all that kind of stuff. Today, we are welding up the frame. This is going to be our little floor plant pans. for under the pedals. Yep. We have a ton of cool plans. We're going to take them out to dirt roads and drift and stuff and drive them around this neighborhood and all that. Just do stupid things that <coughs> young people do when they have jobs and no real bills. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I know that this isn't technically automotive content, but I think it's close enough. You think it's I think it's going to be super fun. We're building small little one piston four stroke motors <laughs> yeah. and yeah. we're going to be racing, building our own cars essentially. Yeah. I mean, they're going to have, you know, rack pinion steering and no <laughs> suspension, but they'll have motors yeah. and chains and they'll just be fun they they'll will fun. it's gonna be so much fun and they're gonna be about seven horsepower at the start but there's so many aftermarket support for these engines we could do so many cool things with it and anytime that we do an off-road video we're gonna add these things in it because it just make everything so much more fun this is really gonna blow up my channel <laughs> We have done like very little research on this too. Yeah. I know there's a lot of information out there on the internet about building DIY go-karts. We've done absolutely no research. We are literally just doing this. We found the steering kit we want to use online. A Chinese steering kit. Yeah, these are very basic Kevin and Josh designed go-kart. We looked at a bunch of images on Google and got an idea of what we wanted to do and just kind of just looked at them for a minute at Home a Depot. We, <laughs> we spent an hour at Lowe's setting it up on the floor and getting measured and trying to figure out everything we needed. Even if they turn out bad, they're gonna be fun. Exactly. That's all that matters. As long as they work, that's really all we care about. It's a win for us. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You think we can put an egg on this and then put it on the ground and then cook an egg? I, I, don't, I don't know anything about eggs. <laughs> <laughs> it's really starting to take shape, as you can tell, it's a go-kart. <laughs> it's pretty obvious at this point. <laughs> it's pretty evident. Oh, that's not a good idea. Mine's gonna be great. Yours is gonna be the exact same. I'm welding it, Josh. <laughs> I'm gonna do the measurements. Hey, my measurements are great. It's just this one. What about the middle one? Shut up. <laughs> Josh is doing the measurements right now for his cart. I fabricated Josh. I, uh, what is this gonna be? A lever for something. I made it as terrible as I possibly could, but now he can lever things. Yep. It's my gift to him. By the way, I never put this in the video, but this is how you get YouTube thumbnails. You make your neighbors think you're crazy. All right, Josh, let's begin. I think we got enough. That'll be good for the thumbnail. We're also gonna end up painting these in this video. Josh went with yellow, but I went with a different color. If you guys have seen the previous videos, you would know that I have my truck powder coated, or I have my intake and stuff powder coated illusion purple. I was in the store and I saw this. It's not an exact match, but it wouldn't it be so funny and will be funny when my go-kart matches my air intake. Mine is gonna be purple and Josh's is gonna be yellow. So we got some more welding to do and then we got some painting to do. And also we need to bolt in those plates and stuff. So we got drilling, welding, painting, ton of stuff to do. I got melted chocolate in my pocket. This is what we're doing right here. We're adding another plate in right in the middle here because whenever this is in here, it's like wobbly on the inside and we want to get rid of that. So we're you just bent yours. <laughs> we're gonna have bolts lining right here and then we're gonna have a bolt in the middle.
got the welds finished. You guys can see how those turned out right there and there on the structure piece and then on mine too. Not as good, but you know, they work. That's just a go-kart. Nate's here. Hey. <laughs> it fits perfect. Oh, what about the middle hole? You pulled my, <laughs> pulled my hole out. I forgot the middle. I'm the Kemba guy. Paint mine. Paint the yellow. We're not using any sort of primer or clear coat or anything. We're just painting them. Uh, we're going to have to sand little spots down in the future. We know to, to weld, finish the welding. Most of this is tack welded together. We're just painting it just because we want to. Just because it's fun. It's not going to be perfect. Anytime we hit a rock or something, it's going to chip off. Who cares? <laughs> Hey, could you quiet down? We're painting. Quiet on set. <laughs> this is a very school bus yellow. Yeah. Both frames and diamond plates have their drill marks, and now Josh's is the first coat is drying. He's going to be putting multiple coats, obviously. So I'm going to go grab a second tarp so I can go in and get the painting mine purple. There's a tinge of purple. Yeah, it is. I'm gonna take a little bit more coats than yours, which is weird. It's a darker color. Yeah, I, know. I guess it's because the steel's so dark. If you guys are just stopping in on the channel for the first time, this is the 240SX build that I'm doing right now. It's gonna have a V8 in it, pretty cool build. And then also we have the Titan XD build. The other vehicles aren't, aren't mine, long story there. But uh, yeah, the Titan XD build. And then the go-kart build. So we got pretty much four series going on on the channel right now. Go-karts, Titan XD, the engine build, and the 240SX build. So go ahead and subscribe so you guys don't miss out on any of that content. Tons of videos coming. So Josh has turned out really good because his is a paint and primer. Mine's just a paint, so it didn't turn out as good, but I may redo it whenever we do all the different welds and stuff. This is not the final paint job of either of these, but um, yeah, Josh's looks perfect. Yours looks perfect. Thanks. Wow. Yellow is just such a good color. And then this one just turned out, like it looks pretty good. Hey, from but over it, here, it looks super purple and pretty. From on the camera, it looks really, really purple. But yeah, I'm glad I went with purple. It's pretty cool. It's a very candy color. I may. Whenever we do the final big welds, I may completely redo the paint and do primer and then purple just to make it look a little bit better. But maybe I won't. Maybe, who knows? These are carts we're trying to beat up. That's why they're not the best built in the world. Um, but I'm pretty happy with how these frames turned out. That's pretty cool. We started today thinking that we were just going to hang out for like an hour and then like not at all do this. And I literally made one tiny comment to him. And yes, we're wearing the same shirt. I made one tiny comment to him. I was like, Hey, would you be willing to like, would you, you want to build go-karts with me? I want someone to do it with. And he was like, yeah, duh, of course. And then we ended up building the frames today. So we found a deal on some engines. So I may go put, pick them up tomorrow. That doesn't mean we'll have them mounted soon, but you know, cause we got to get all the other stuff, but uh, definitely going to be picking up an engine soon, which is super cool. Are you excited? I'm very excited. And we got a deal 50 bucks for each of them. So these are very cheap cart builds for sure we're gonna go watch videos about the engine we're gonna put on it because there's a ton of aftermarket support for some reason you can supercharge these engines which is ridiculous all right guys with that being said we're gonna get back to painting these as you can see josh has already started and uh then researching the engines so thanks for stopping in the channel go and subscribe hit the notification bell browse the rest of the videos and we're out yeah.